Mm. Okay, we are in progress. Um, we are, we are on record now, and um, so today, you know, you know, there is a subject called process. I had a lot of people, well, uh, you know, uh, you know that uh, process. People who are doing chemical engineering, they always complain about process. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing because I, I was once one of them and I agree. And there's like two modules. Is it two? Is that process three? I don't quite remember. There's process one and process two that I, I remember. Yeah, everybody complains about it because yeah, it's a shock. Yeah, I think it's a shock to our minds or system. I don't know when we get into varsity, especially process one. What is it about it? I think it's different from what we used to, especially when you compare varsity with what you did in high school. It's not the same concept. Now you're starting to learn about industries, chemical plants, specifically how to use chemistry while you thought you knew chemistry. You start to apply how to use chemistry, thermodynamics, mass balance. Hey, hey. <laughs> You think yeah. you understand the language, I think. Uh, I think that is probably one major thing. You think you understand the language and then you like the English language. And then you like, okay, there's English and there is process engineering English that is different. Yeah, a lot of people cry yeah. about process, you know. And I'm saying this because you are a process <laughs> engineer. You're a process engineer at Engine. So when I, how did you get through process then, the, 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 the course? Oh, chemical engineering. So how I got in, oh man, it's a long story. Yeah. <laughs> but how I got in was, I thought I liked chemistry. And that's the thing. I think that I thought I liked chemistry in high school and I decided, okay, something as close to chemistry in engineering is chemical engineering because I had a buzzer back then uh, in high school from grade 10 and then um, they wanted me to either take in order for them to sponsor me to either take science mathematics physics or engineering and uh, when I applied I'm not really a math person I always like saying math likes me but I don't know <laughs> I don't know about me liking it. This is me talking to a mathematician, by the way. I feel insulted. <laughs> I'm sorry. I need more words than numbers. <laughs> yeah. And then, yeah, I, I enjoyed chemistry in high school. And then I chose chemical engineering based on solely that. And then you get into chemical engineering at VETS, and then now you're faced with process one. I guess that was the problem subject. Uh, how did you pass process? How did you fight it over? Because it's a problem. <laughs> I actually didn't pass first year. I, I remember I got 47 in the final year. I failed it. That one was one of those year courses where you, if you fail it, you repeat, you repeat it and it blocks some of the modules on your second year. So I got 47 and I was, it, it was my first time, I think, failing. <laughs> yeah. Failing. And I was like, yeah, okay, I need to, I need to, to pull up my socks. I always call it a hump that I, I, I had a hump or bump in my first year prior to proceeding with my courses. And as well, when I failed it, I was quite surprised because I actually thought, ah, oh, I understand this language. <laughs> and it was not, <laughs> it was not easy. So the other question that came through, um, I think it's the same, uh, it's, it speaks to what we're speaking about right now. It says, please ask her what kept her going despite the difficulties as the chemical engineering course can be difficult. Most of the time, it makes students to doubt their passion. Mm, even at the workplaces that way. But I will say in varsity, I think there was a couple of instances where my friends kept me going. <laughs> um, um, there was a point where, I think it, it was in my third year, Paul kept me going for the final exams. I needed a whole lot of marks 
to get a 50 in my transcript. And I, it was a lot of courses. I think maybe it was four, more than five courses and they were like back-to-back -back exams. And my friend was like, we're not sleeping. We are not sleeping until we're done with something. Like we would have 15 minutes naps in, <laughs> in between. Uh, at night, we would have a 15 minute nap. We would study until we understand the cram if we must cram. But to have a support system is your biggest, I think, guest help or motivation or push in varsity. You need that support system. Um, my friends have been, yeah, I would say very much essential in helping me, sometimes motivating me to, to push. You've been at Engine. Um, um, you started as a chemical engineer trainee, and then you became an utilities engineer. And then from there, you moved to become the advanced process controller and alum rationalization engineer and an upgrading engineer. And yeah, what does, you know, your, your state engine, you know, how has it been? How has engine been treating you? Seems like they've been treating you nice, huh? <laughs> they have, I had a lot of exposure. I have a lot of exposure. For me to say I'm being exposed in the business side of it, while I have initially started as a technical process engineer says that my stay there has been very fruitful. I started as a utilities engineer, basically just looking after the utilities, water, maybe um, steam, uh, those are utilities. Um, but that is mainly within the same department, but I was legit looking after the plants, utilities that help run the plant. Um, then I was an advanced process engineer for maybe about a month or so um, outside the department to help the advanced process department filling out a role. Uh, that also gave me a lot of um, knowledge in how we as chemical engineers should um, look at instrumentation that helps the plant. <laughs> I hope I'm not going into two technical terms. I know yeah. the I know the chemical engineering students will appreciate this. Um, I mean, this is for them, you know. <laughs> true, 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 yeah. true. So for the chemical engineering students, your pump calculations, your thermodynamics will help you if you're going in technically into the chemical engineering space, or if you're going into a design uh, engineering space, consulting space, those fundamentals will help you.